Greetings, fellow science fiction fans. I recently read Isaac Asimov's short story collection, I, Robot. Who's that on the cover? Is it a rapper? Is it an actor? No, it's Will Smith. I'm sure I'm not alone in finding the film I, Robot by Alex Proyas to be a bit disappointing in terms of substance. The twist isn't awful, and it's an interesting perspective, but at the end of the day, it is a summer blockbuster and a Will Smith vehicle. Alex Preuss has done better. Heck, Will Smith has done better. I'd been wanting to read some Asimov for a long time, and recently had the time. So I got the short story collection from the library, and my expectations based on Asimov's reputation were met and exceeded. It's thinking man's science fiction. Asimov uses robots to explore humanity, emotions, motivation, and the stories hold food for thought. There have been several other productions using that same title, I, Robot. I believe there are two separate Twilight Zone episodes, decades apart. The interesting thing is, while using elements from Asimov's writing, none to truly incorporate any of the stories he wrote. And that's a shame. You see, it once looked like it was going to happen. Harlan Ellison wrote a screenplay, an adaptation of the stories. And this is it published with illustrations by Mark Zug, if that's how you pronounce it. And the reason this was published is that the movie was never made. Now, for those of you who don't know, and don't feel bad, I myself found out from reading the introduction of the illustrated screenplay, Harlan and Asimov were friends for about 40 years. Isaac describes the two as having very different writing styles in the introduction. And I have to agree with him when he says that's what made the adaptation so good. The short story collection is an excellent read. I recommend it to any science fiction fan who enjoys thinking about what they read, but you couldn't adapt it directly, not to the silver screen. There is a framing device, and they are tied somewhat together, but as it is, it is nine separate stories. Maybe they could be adapted into separate episodes for a television series. What Ellison did was take these stories, tie them very nicely together, and essentially all that he altered was to make it easier to translate to the big screen. The core is there, the substance remains. I just last night got done reading the screenplay, and I have to say, I was very impressed throughout, but once I was done reading it, I really felt that I had just read something brilliant, and that would make an amazing... It was originally written in 78, so there are maybe a few things that need updating, but the core could and should remain the same. It has now been about 32 years where this movie has not gotten made. What I'm trying to say is, if you haven't read the short story collection and you like Thinking Man's science fiction, do yourself a huge favor and go read it. And once you have, unless you can't stand Harlan Ellison's work, do yourself another favor and go read the illustrated screenplay. If you don't already know Harlan Ellison, he wrote the scripts for the Twilight Zone episodes from the 60s show called Soldier and Demon with a Glass Hand, both of which served as sources of inspiration for James Cameron, The Terminator. I strongly recommend both of those episodes, especially Demon with a Glass Hand. Ellison also wrote one of the most beloved TOS episodes, that's Star Trek the original series for people who don't follow Star Trek, The City on the Edge of Forever. Albeit changes were made to his original script. And if you know anything about Harlan Ellison, you probably already know that he wasn't happy with it. His writing can be fairly dark and disturbing, very emotional, but he is very smart and a really good writer for the screen, small and big alike. Anyway, that was what I wanted to say. I hope I've persuaded a few of you to go consult your library. And I hope you'll enjoy reading iRobot, the illustrated screenplay, the greatest sci-fi movie never made.